Welcome to the pew. Welcome to the pew, where once again the, the, the cameraman has decided that it's time to show the start. <laughs> or start the show, or whatever. <laughs> okay, so, what are we gonna talk about first? Don't forget about our contest. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. And if you pick the one thing out of these four things that doesn't belong, and you're a what? Subscriber. A subscriber to the show, then you will get an Alec grab bag that may include something like this. But probably not. It, <laughs> it may. No, it actually will. It will it include something like this. <laughs> and when I say like, I mean it will also be a piece of paper. <laughs> no. <laughs> a tattered piece of paper. <clears throat> no, um, it'll be a, a substantial invitation. And then other, it, not it, so substantial. You will be wowed. <clears throat> you will be wowed. Not, you know, not like every, everybody is wowed, but you will be wowed. We're not wowed. <clears throat> Lady Funny isn't wowed. We were wowed, but <laughs> then we were unwowed. Yes, we've been unwowed. You have been disallowed. <laughs> disallowed. And I wow to get back at them. <laughs> I hereby wow. <laughs> so we're, we wanted to show you the first invitation for Well, Ernie to wanted to show you. I said, you know, let, this is not about the past. Let's move on to the future. But he says, no, I'm stuck in the past. <laughs> And I'm going to shove it down their throats. <laughs> we're so, doing show and tell. Yes, and Ernie's going to show, and I'm going to tell. Uh, well, we're going to do well, a... Well, did you just say well? Yes, I did. <laughs> we are going to well. do a close-up of this. It's the original invite for Disco 2000. So the opening, the grand opening. Which was on August 15th, 1990. Mm -hmm. uh, when, we, when we were both we Yes. We tops. The party was crowded that night. Uh, it was insanely hot, like the two weeks before we were well, it's August, uh, yeah. launching this party, and I had to. We go really, out we really launched it like the worst, <laughs> the worst week right. possible. Everyone was on vacation. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. um, I had to go out in the Claire the Chicken suit when it was a hundred degrees mm -hmm. and into a club <laughs> to pass out these invites. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember uh, DJ Kiyoki had to wear the bear costume and he was just drenched with sweat. And you know how Kiyoki gets when he, oh. he gets annoyed or uncomfortable? He's like, like that anyway. So when he's annoyed or uncomfortable, it's like times 10. <laughs> so he was just really in a bad mood. And then add no cocaine to the mix. And it's a recipe for disaster. Uh, yeah. But um, it was a great party, and uh, the place was full. But nobody bought a drink. Nobody bought a drink. Nobody the, paid for admission. The bar ten, the bars rang up zero dollars, and um, we were. I was very scared that it wasn't going to keep going. I couldn't understand why the club owner wouldn't want to keep a party going that costs twenty thousand dollars to make and rings up zero dollars. Yeah, and I remember for like a few months afterwards, we were. I mean, literally. Every week we were on uh, pins and needles, worried that the party was not going to go. I wasn't on needles yet. Needles didn't start till like. Well, I I, I recall there were nights, Wednesday nights, when the club would really look empty, you know, because it's not like everybody came the first night, but then the second and third. Well, the nights. second and the third nights are the worst. Anybody who throws parties knows that the second and third nights are the work. That's the test because if they, everybody will come to the opening, but the second and third night. Is that, that then the fourth night is really And then that second and third night <clears throat> happens to fall right at the end of August, which is everybody the worst gets night, away. The worst nights of the year. Right, no, all the fabulous people are gone somewhere. Hampton but then in September is when it picked up again. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I think it took a few months for it to start getting really crowded because we used to do all those tricks in the club where we would set up all these go-go boots right in the middle of the dance floor oh, yeah, to make the dance floor seem more yeah. full <laughs> because we didn't have enough people. Right. Uh, eventually, we never needed to do that. Right. So. Um, uh, and we also said that we're not going to be working in World Wonder, so, um, so I'll be right back. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsor. Are you ready? You, are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? 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 Welcome back to the pew. Welcome back to the pew where we were supposed to have the guest star celebrity 
Floyd. Our the, old friend Floyd. Our old friend, our new friend. Our, from Black Lips. Yeah. And who is now, well, he was always an artist, but now he does film and all. Multi-talent. Multi-talent. So we thought it would be fun to have him on. And he, and he wanted to be on and he was supposed to be on. But he works in the catering business and he had yeah. a job to do today. So, so instead of instead, catering to us, he, came <laughs> he catered to people for money. Yeah. You so can't believe this. He's going to be rescheduled. So we had to replace him with this tattered piece of paper. <laughs> yes. And this tattered piece of paper did a very good job, but not as good as Floyd would have done. Yeah, it's good. Uh, this is a so, in lieu of Floyd, we will answer a few questions. Bitches want to know. Want to know. And what do they want to know? Well, Dollface, wild card red, uh, wants to know do you feel that being weird is popular now? And really, that being weird is the new alternative. No, really, that being bland. Oh, being bland is the new alternative. I, I would say that it's never good to be bland. Well, obviously, it's never good to be bland, but is it the new alternative? Uh, and, and would that mean that the new alternative is bad? Because that happens. You know, originally, we had hoped to you to uh, usurp the uh, establishment, and it's not possible to usurp the establishment because you become the establishment. And then when the establishment is weird, then being bland becomes weird. I don't think the establishment is weird, though. Well, it, 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 it is. You don't notice it because it happens very slowly. It's like the Borg. They assimilate all of the weirdness, and it happens so slowly that you don't notice it. But the establishment is weird. When you look at commercials and you look at movies and things like that, no, 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 no. You, you see things that you would never have seen before. And... And I'm talking about the people with piercings and, uh, you know, colored hair and that kind of thing that's just normal. But it, you have to remember that that was not, that was very weird back then. I will say, I, I'm going to use the jalapeno pepper analogy here. Oh, the, the infamous Ernie Lamb pepper peño analogy. Well, as a Mexican-American, I can attest to the fact that in the 70s, jalapeno peppers were very, very spicy and hot. You could barely bite into one without your eyes watering. And now if you go to the supermarket and buy a jalapeno, they've been genetically engineered to be so bland because Mexican food has become so widespread and popular, but it couldn't become widespread and popular unless they made the, unless they the made it chili not Mexican peppers food. <laughs> really bland so that people could actually eat them and not you know, have watery eyes and burning tongues. So I think that's what's happening to weird, that it gets assimilated into the mainstream and then it gets it, and genetically engineered to be so bland that it may be weird, but it, it's lost all its kick, its spice. Well, but a lot of the reason it's lost all, it loses its kick and spice is because so many people do it. When so many people do it, it's no longer cool. And when it's no longer cool, it's no longer has that kick. But it's also like, like you said, like going to Puerto Rico and staying at the Holiday Inn. You don't, you know, you don't, you don't experience Puerto Rico. You experience where you were, where you, where you come from. So, um, so the answer to that is there is no answer. Um, it's so, not hip to be square. <laughs> it's not hip to be square. So, uh, but what another bitch, Mr. What's his name? Calvin C. Calvin C. Wants to know about the first time you met Kyoki. Oh, what was he like? That old dragging that old horse out again. <laughs> it's nostalgia. Oh boy. Over and over. Met with Ariel, took on a cab, didn't pay for the just, cab, ran from the cab just driver. Just party months. Almost got killed, chased with guns. <laughs> you know. And it was happily ever happily. No, he, he, you know though, he was a different person back then. Yes, he was. He was very quiet back then. Actually. He was very quiet. And he was reserved. Shy and um, polite. Yes, he was very polite. Extremely polite and not fake polite like um, where you're like regular, but when you're the, the parents of your friends are around, then you're polite. He was like that all the time. Um, he was in, slightly insecure, like the rest of us were. I remember going, he was afraid to go into expensive department stores and things like that. He didn't want to go in, like he wouldn't go in. Um, you know, I... I, I like he had him, a lot of phobias. But it made him into very, it was very endearing, those qualities. So, yes. so if you do not have those qualities, you should fake them. So that you can... <laughs> And then he became a superstar DJ. Yeah. Everything changed. Yes, he lost all of his body. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you, Kyoki. He has no, Kyoki. Well, I'll say, I won't say that. I'll say that Kyoki is no longer shy. <laughs> no, no longer shy. No longer shy. Um, or reserved. Or reserved. Or polite. Or <laughs> no, he's still polite. He's still polite. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's still polite. No, I mean, the, at, your, at his core, Kiyoki's still the same. At his core, he's, he's still just, the same. He's just more extroverted, let's just say that. 
at his core, I will say at his core, he is still the same. That's oh. it for today. Bye.